Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you are all doing well. This is a backpacking basics video in regards to how to properly stuff your sleeping bag into the compression sack. Now when it comes to doing this process, there are two ways to do it. One, you can roll it. Two, you can stuff it. Now amongst professionals, myself and most manufacturers, we recommend that you do not roll your sleeping bag. And the reason is simple. When you roll a sleeping bag, you are essentially abusing the fill inside of the sleeping bag in the same place over and over. To an extent, you are also abusing the stitching in the same places over and over. Also, my friends, if you were to roll a sleeping bag, you will not get it as compact as you would if you just stuffed it. Now, most sleeping bags come with a stuff sack like you see right here. The reason they call it a stuff sack is because you stuff the sleeping bag inside of it. This is not a roll sack. You don't roll up your sleeping bag and then shove it inside. Now when it comes time to stuff your sleeping bag, for some reason, most people start with the head and that is the wrong place to start. You actually begin at the foot box. But I will go ahead and show you what happens when you start at the head of the sleeping bag. As you're stuffing your sleeping bag, all of the air is being pushed towards the foot box, as you can see here. And as you can see, that has become a problem. The foot box of your sleeping bag is an enclosed space. So what you have here is an air balloon. As you can see, all the air is trapped inside of this. Now, of course, you can smash the air out, but what you are doing is separating the seams of your sleeping bag, which can cause the loss of fill, especially if you're using a down sleeping bag. That is a very bad thing to do. So let's start again at the proper location. and that would be at the foot box. So here we go, my friends, let's do this the correct way. You start at the foot box and begin to stuff it in to the compression bag, into the stuff sack. As I just mentioned, this is a stuff sack. It is also known as a compression sack. So you are compressing the fill, you're compressing the fabric, and you're also pushing out all of the air from your sleeping bag. If you roll your sleeping bag, you will not be able to push out all of the air. You will not be able to compress it as much. As you all can see, this is much, much easier to do. And just like that, you're all done. Before wrapping this up, I have one additional tip for you. As you can see here, the sleeping bag is all compressed. I can make this even smaller if I want to. And with your sleeping bag being compressed for a short period of time, that's absolutely fine. It will not damage the loft, the fill inside of your sleeping bag at all. But if you leave your sleeping bag in a compressed state, it can permanently damage the fill inside of your sleeping bag. So it will no longer get as lofty as it once did. I will touch upon this in a future episode. Guys, if you all have any questions for me, please let me know. Strength and honor, everybody. Take care. More tips coming up. See you guys around. <music>